Hey, it's Rick, and welcome back to my channel. Uh, from time to time, I do videos on whatever. It could be DIY projects, pets, gardening, product reviews. Now, this one's going to be on a product review. Uh, lately, we've been trying to uh, stay healthier and eat more healthier things. And, you know, there's a lot of pros and cons that people go back and forth between margarine and butter. And lately, we've been just kind of sticking with the sticks of butter rather than the margarine because of all the, the stuff that they put into the margarines, all the chemicals and all. And, hey, butter's been around forever. This is sweet cream butter. You can get it salted or unsalted. It's up to you. We use uh, sweet cream butter, and I believe it's better for you. In the long run, you can use uh, maybe smaller amounts of it. And the biggest thing that everybody gets upset about is the fact that it's hard. You know, you can't smooth it on your bread or um, your corn. You know, unless something's hot, and then it'll melt it. Now, you can put it in the microwave and soften it up, and we often do that if you want to spread it just like a margarine or something. So I saw this product and I thought I'd give it a shot. Um, you know I'm really into the uh, BPA-free products. This is supposedly BPA-free. There's nothing added in there. And of course like everything it's made in China. And you can get it from Amazon or eBay. Shows you how you do it. You put your butter in there on the top and then you smash it down. And it supposedly is going to cut it into little loaves like you see when you go out to the restaurants. And then it has a sealed container that you can put on top. Put it right in your refrigerator. Butter cutting case. Nice, right? <laughs> like most of the products, I um, usually buy these myself and then I review them. So I'm not getting anything from the manufacturer. I do have affiliate links and I'll put them at the um, description page on YouTube underneath the video. And if you like the product, um, go ahead and purchase through those links. I'd appreciate it. That helps me out. Gives me a little bit of residual income so that I can go ahead and do these videos. So it's kind of like a polycarbonate type of a plastic here, I guess. And then you've got these cutting screen here. Looks like almost like stainless steel rods that are in there. And then here's the lid. There's something else in here too that I didn't expect. Looks like a little knife, like a butter knife. Hmm, check that out. I didn't even see that. So they give you a little stainless steel butter knife that comes in there, like the old school kind. That's kind of cool. Let me go ahead and clean these up and we'll come back. So here we go, everything's all set up and uh, I cleaned it all out. As you can see, I like to clean things out. There may be some um, cuttings or something in there from the manufacturing process and got it all cleaned out. Like all my videos, let me give you a little bit of um, a size demonstration here. That's running about six and a half inches. The container, same thing, six and a half. Lid, same thing, six and a half. Of course, because it's all going to match up. Width, it's going to be about three and a half inches. Outside and inside, about three and a quarter inches. Overall, six and a quarter inside and about two and a quarter deep. So what they advertise is you can put two sticks of butter in there so they'll be side by side. Right now I just have one available so I'm just going to use that. Let's go ahead and try a demonstration and see how this works out. So we put that part on there, it nestles in there like that, snaps on top. Then you take your stick of butter and you put it right like that on top of there. So the butter doesn't go all the way across. It looks like it stays right on the side, which is fine. Now hopefully, since there's only one stick of butter in there, it doesn't go sideways. Since I have another one to counteract the other side of the weight. But we'll try it anyway. So now we're just going to press firmly down. And I can feel it going down there. And the lid's getting to the point where it's going to snap in on top. So if we look underneath the ear, we can see it did cut all the way through there. Take that off. Look at that. One piece didn't make it to the party. Guess we'll push it down in there. There you go. Kind of like little little wafers of butter there. And it cut right through. 
So it's individually cut in the servings, just like you see in the restaurants. Kind of cool. Now this cost, I guess, um, under $15 shipped to the house. I think that was pretty reasonable. So you can see if you had two sticks in there, you'd have another one lined up like that. You want to do your popcorn or whatever, you can take out how many servings you want and just go ahead and melt them. Or you've got little individual patties to put on whatever you're using. And then just put that right back on there like that and it's easy to store. If you don't want to, I guess you can take the cutting blade out and just snap the lid on. And there you are for storage. Entirely up to you. But hey, that works. I'm actually surprised. This is a nice little feature. Comes with it too. And that's it. Hey, thanks a lot for watching. Please click that uh, subscribe button down there. You never know what kind of video I'm going to come up with next. Hit the bell icon over there. That'll alert you if one comes out. Sometimes I have premieres that'll come out and uh, they'll let you know ahead of time. Please share with your family and friends. Give me a thumbs up. It lets YouTube know that you like my videos and I can go ahead and put some more out. Let me know how you make out with your uh, butter cutter storage container. Take care, everybody.